the very first impressions that you have as you come back down to the surface. The desert. Okay. With, <clears throat> with one palm tree in the distance. Okay. The sand is really yellow. Very yellow. Very, yeah, yellow. Just sand all around. Okay. Like hills, like sand hills. Okay. Alright. Is that all you see? <clears throat> I'm seeing a little village in the distance. Like the palm trees behind me. Okay. The little village is in front. Okay. It's like not, not like mud homes. It's not like mud buildings, but like, I don't know. It's like the homes that, I don't know. It's like everything's just sand, beige colored. Oh, okay, everything, even the building. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and like um, square cutouts okay. for the windows. Are you far from the village, or it's not too far away? No, I'm in the village. Oh, you're in the village. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when you look down, can you see your feet? Yeah. Are you wearing anything on your feet? Sandals. You're wearing sandals. Okay. Mm -hmm. But like, not sandals today. Like, old, like old, oh, old timey sandals. Old, old timey sandals. Okay. They look like. They're made of anything in particular that you recognize? Like cloth and leather? Cloth and leather, okay. And as you go up the body, do you see any any clothing on the body? It's like rags. Okay, rags, okay. Do you see anything on, on your head? Like a turban? A turban, okay. Are you holding anything or carrying anything? A sack? A sack. Yeah. And do you see any kind of adornment or jewelry on the body? There's, it's not jewelry, it's like, I don't, it's like, it is adornments, it's like strings of stuff. Oh, okay. Like strings of like, like gems. Oh, okay. And where do you see these? It's just like hanging everywhere. Oh, hanging everywhere. Okay. Yeah. Like on the back, like on the tops it's like I'm not wearing rags it just it's like everything's beige oh it's, it's all, all beige. beige yeah it's like fabric flowing from yeah your body? yeah okay and do you get a sense that you're male or female male okay and you get a sense that uh you're young or young or old old okay and do you get a sense that you're healthy or mm -hmm. not healthy healthy okay. I'm healthy so now that you're in the village, do you get a sense of uh, what you're doing next? I'm just walking around. You're walking around. People are saying hi. Oh, okay. So they know you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you get a sense that you live in this village? Um, I don't know if I live there. I don't know if I live there. Oh. But is it a place you've been to before? Yeah, they know. Yeah, they know me. Okay. They know me well. I'm like, I don't know. I'm someone important to You're them. Important. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So as you walk around through the village, do you get a sense that there's some place in that village that you're meant to go? I'm not sure. Can you keep walking? Yeah. Okay. So go ahead and keep walking. And if you see anything important, or if you get a sense that you're, you found the place you're meant to be. There's a larger beige hut okay. type. Hut. Like a building? But it's made out of dirt? Yeah, Is it's it like, like a dirt it's building? like, yeah, it's like what you would... Like when you imagine thousands of years ago. Okay, so very much in the past. Yeah. Okay. Like when, yes, very much in the past. Okay. 
Like, like when you... An old square building made out mm -hmm. of dirt? Yes. Okay. Yes, exactly. But I don't know if it's dirt. It just... But it looks like natural. It just, yes, yes, it's natural. Okay. Everything's natural. Okay. So everything's dirt and stone? Yeah. Okay. All right. I was okay. passing the bazaar. Okay. Or... Like a market The flea market, yeah. And people are saying hello, and I'm, like, looking at things and just walking by. Okay. I, I am just, wa like... You're just walking? I'm just walking and looking at everything. Okay. I don't know if I'm, like, the town... I don't know what I am. Okay, but do you get a sense that you, you know your way around? Yeah. Okay, and you, there's a sense of confidence mm -hmm. being where you are? Yeah. Okay, so you're familiar with this place and people know you? Yeah, they know me. Okay. I'm like their protector. You're like a protector, okay. So tell me more about that. How like, are you a protector? Not pro- ah, that's the wrong word. I'm like... Everyone in the village comes to me. Oh, everyone in the village comes to you. For okay. answers. Oh, okay. For questions. For answers. And to get answers to their mm -hmm. questions. Yeah. Okay. And like advice on what to do. Okay. So are you, in a sense, a wise man? Maybe. I don't, yeah, maybe. I don't know if that's what they would call it. Okay. Do you get a sense of what kinds of questions people have asked you? Yeah. It's like family type questions. Oh, okay. It's like terrible questions. Like Oh really? Yeah. Like, should I leave my baby? Oh. Or okay. like it's like really hard questions that people don't want to ask. Okay, so you counsel them. Yeah. You help them find answers. Yeah. How do you know the nice answers? Way. Do you get a sense? Always be compassionate to people. Always be compassionate. Is that how you try to deal with people? Yes, through love. Through love. Okay. Eternal love. Eternal love, okay. And you're getting emotional. Why does that make you emotional? It's so hard to see people go through problems. Because they do come to you all the time for their, with their problems, right? But you, you know, do you get a sense that this is, this is your purpose in life? Is to be this for these people? Yes. To help them? There is no one else. There is no one else. No one else here leads with love and compassion. Oh, okay. As much as, much as I do okay. here okay. in other villages, there's other people. Okay. So how, how are people generally towards each other? They are good. They are good. It's a good community. Okay. They love each other. They take care of each other. They take care of me. Is that why they're nice to you when you walk through? Yeah. Okay. So let's do this. Let's move to the place where you spend most of your time in terms of where do you sleep or take your meals. We're going to the place where you sleep and take your meals. You're there now. What do you see? It's very... It's... Beige and so. Okay. Everything is so beige. Okay, it's all the same color. <laughs> it's all is the it same very color. is it a very spare? It's very spare. There's like little jugs of things. Oh, okay. With like spices. Okay. Or in or incense. I don't know. Spices, incense, there's little jugs everywhere. They're everywhere. Mm-hmm. Do you get a sense that you 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 have gathered all of those I don't think things? I have okay but you procure them somehow yeah I, no. yeah people give them or I find them randomly 
Oh, okay. And what do I these walk. things in the jugs do? Are they medicinal? Or yeah. They are, okay. Yeah. It's the other thing people come for. Okay. For healing? Yeah. Okay. So you counsel them, you give them guidance, but you also <clears throat> heal the body? Or the mind. To heal the mind, okay. It's the, it's the same. It's the same thing, mm -hmm. right? The mind and the body. Okay. If you heal the mind, the body will do what you want. If you heal the mind, the body will do what you want. Okay. Is that the belief system that you use to heal? Yeah. And is that why you're healthy? Yeah. I'm very thin, but I'm very healthy. Very thin, but healthy. Strong and robust, but I look malnourished. Okay. Or not malnourished, I look... old. You look old, okay. Do you get a sense that you've been around for a long time? Yes, I've been around for a very long so you're time. Very yeah. Do you get a sense that you're also very wise? <sighs> wiser, wiser than some, less than others. Okay. Do no one that's wise will say they're wise. They just oh, okay. are what they are. Okay. And so do you, do you know where you learned what you're doing in terms of healing people and giving them guidance. How did you learn to do that? Um, a nomadic tribe. Oh, okay. Nomadic tribe. Okay. Is that how you grew up? Yeah. My, my mom sent me with them so I could learn their ways. Oh, okay. They were poor and she didn't want me to be or, or she was scared of me. I don't know. I still don't know. She was so, you said that she may have been scared of you. Mm -hmm. Is it because of your abilities when you were younger? Yeah. Okay. And were some, what were some of those abilities? I would know. I just paid, I paid attention to the sky. Oh, you so, paid attention to the sky. <clears throat> so I would know when, when like, weather events would happen and that scared her so you could foretell the future i couldn't foretell the future i could look at the sky and oh, see what okay. was going to happen so you could foretell the the weather patterns mm -hmm. okay and that scared her yeah okay so because you knew when it would rain yes when there would be a storm mm -hmm. okay all right, so do you remember how that made you feel to be separated from your mother? It was okay. It was okay. I didn't want to be around people that I scared. Okay, okay. So even back then, you knew that it was better mm -hmm. to be away from people who were fearful. Yeah, and I wanted to be around people that also could think outside of... The traditional way? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So you knew it was better for you to... Mm -hmm. So you were raised by a nomadic tribe. Mm -hmm. So go back to that time when you were raised by the nomadic tribe. Mm -hmm. and what, what can you remember from that time? What do you see? It was, it was all like little old men and they would... There was a cart. Mm -hmm. They would sell... Like they would, they would sell their spices okay. for different things, for headaches, for gray hair, for love, for, it was for everything. Some of it was real, some of it wasn't. Oh, okay. But it wasn't because they were trying to trick people, it's because they weren't good enough to make the correct potions. Oh, they didn't have the right recipes? <clears throat> mm -mm, or the knowledge. Oh, okay. It was a tradition that had been passed down, and oh, okay. some it was 
So some, some of it was lost? Mm-hmm. Okay. Some of it was lost, and then only those that really understood could find, could determine what to do. Very few people can. Okay. All right. So there were just a few people that really knew how to make the right... Mm-hmm. The, to co to blend the right mixtures. Yeah. Okay. And so did you learn how to do some of this? Yes. Okay. And did you enjoy doing this? I did. I was good at it. Oh, you were good at it. Okay. Yeah. I am good at it. Still. Okay. I'm an old man. I'm not dead. Okay. Alright. So let's move from your childhood where you're with the nomadic tribe and let's just move a little bit forward where you're a young man and uh, in your, you've learned, um, you've acquired some knowledge about how to help people with herbs and spices and plants and you've created these mixtures from the knowledge you've received from the nomadic tribes, you know? No, I didn't do that. I ran away from it. Oh, you ran away. I was scared. Why did you run away? I was scared. What scared you? It was better than the rest. Oh, okay. Did, did were there some people that felt threatened? They were they were scared of me again. Oh, they were scared of you. Everywhere I go. <sighs> people are scared. Well, but, what was it that you said or did that made them scared? I knew more than them. Okay. And how did you know what you knew? I don't know. Did it just come to you? Mm-hmm. So you just knew? Yeah. And what were the kinds of things that you knew about? What spices would work for people? Oh, okay. What what to tell them what to do, what outcomes would be if they didn't follow the advice, okay. and what outcomes would be if they did follow advice. Okay. So people think I'm clairvoyant and that's why they're scared, okay. but I'm not. It's common sense. Okay. You just you have to be, sense. you have to be quiet and pay attention to everything around you and everything makes sense if you just pay attention if you just pay attention okay so do you think that that's your so that is your unique ability is to take in and gather all the information around you and to notice every minute detail yes and that's how you can get the information mm -hmm. and give the person who wants your help the best advice yes Okay, is that also how you're able to know how to mix the herbs and spices in such a way that it's a benefit? Yes, I pay attention to what each herb does, each spice does individually. Okay. And then what, and paying, and knowing what they each do, what would happen when you put them together. Okay, so you have an acute awareness. Mm -hmm. of how all of these things work together and in what mixtures mm -hmm. and what proportions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because I'm quiet and I pay attention. You're quiet and you pay attention. So being quiet and paying attention has served you well in terms of this ability to help people. And the ability, yes. But I don't have peers. Okay. I have respect, and yeah. that's fine. Okay. But I don't... I'm very alone. You're very alone. Not okay. lonely. Not lonely. But alone. Okay. So you don't... As an adult man, you're not traveling with a group of people? Mm-mm. Okay. So no. you're on your own? Yes. Okay. Right. And you... You may be alone, but you do not feel alone. Not always, no. Okay. Alright. At points, but those are fleeting, just like life. Okay. And 
So why do you continue to do the work that you do? To help people. Okay. Do you feel that that is your primary calling? To be of service to others? Mm hmm Okay. And so let's drift and float and move to another time we're drifting and floating to a time where something important is happening to you in this lifetime that we're looking at. And you're there now. What is happening and what do you see? I'm... I was brought to the leader. I don't know what you would call him. Okay. He's not feeling well, or oh, okay. or his he's his daughter is sick, so he's not doing well emotionally. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. He's distraught. He, yeah. Okay. And he brought me to see his daughter. Okay. She's a little girl. Okay. They don't look like my people. Okay, okay. They're light. Like the sun would kill them. They have lighter skin? Yeah. Much lighter skin, okay. They need to go home or else she'll die. Oh, so they're not where they normally live? No. And do you tell him this? Yeah. Okay. And do they follow your advice? Not at first. Not at first, okay. And she gets worse and then they go home. I don't know what happens after. They, okay. But they leave. Okay, they leave. Do you get a sense that you're often called to do things like this? Mm-hmm. Okay. That was what brought me, that was what brought me back into doing that after I ran away. Oh, okay. So you ran away and when this issue came up, that brought you back into mm -hmm. the role of being a healer and giving advice? Mm-hmm. Okay. And do you get a sense that you're paid? At you, you, re you receive remuneration in any way for your services? Sometimes, but I don't ask of it. Okay. Do you see, uh, do you get a sense that at least um, you are provided for in terms of food mm -hmm. and shelter? Always. Okay. So you are always provided for? Yes. Okay. And where does that come from? Is there just a knowing that you will always be provided for? Yeah. Yeah. And if, if for one night I sleep under the stars, so be it. Okay. It's pretty. And do you like being outdoors in nature? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's quiet. And do you feel that you receive the fulfillment that your soul is seeking in doing this work? Yes. Okay. That was a wise question. So in doing this work, you are definitely fulfilling your purpose? In this lifetime, yes. This lifetime, okay. Alright. This lifetime, I'm to learn how to care for others completely.